Hello guys and welcome back to another Power and Revolution. In the last episode we once again got kicked out of the World Trade Organization. But hey, our file is accepted at the very least, so that's good. We got a whole bunch of stuff going underway, the building of stuff, all these laws, and today is going to be a little bit different than the previous episodes because I've come to a decision. I've decided that Congress sucks and we are going to slowly start taking power away from Congress because there's a lot of problems they cause, you know, they're all split up, they're all these different people. I've spent like all this, like probably a full episode just trying to make them like me more and etc. So I'm slowly going to start weeding them out and I'm going to waste no time about it. We're nearly at 100% popularity. Bringing it down to here shouldn't be the worst thing in the world after all. We're only Brazil. We're not like the US or a European country. It shouldn't be that hard. And I'm going to space it out. I'm not going to rush through it. I'm going to use the television appearance to get this done. Because the way this works is, assuming you haven't been on the air for a while, and people actually like you, then this can give you a boost. You can use this to get rid of riots, etc. But you can also use it to try to convince people to vote for things. So we're going to use it on this to get make it so that the parliament can vote no motions of confidence, which takes away some of their power. We're going to get a human rights hit for doing this, but once we have this, then getting this consultative role, no real power, will be a lot easier. And this is where we want to get it, because we don't want to have to deal with Congress, I have decided. And th somewhere along the line, I decided this by looking up something about Brazilians, uh, Brazil's president right now. Fun fact, uh, Brazil has two rounds of election. In the first round of election, this guy got stabbed in the stomach. And he was so injured, he couldn't return to campaigning until the second round. And he still won. He also has, like, the lowest approval rating of any president like they've ever had. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're going to do this. And... Great, the TV appearance helped an insane amount. Look at all the people that are for it. Our entire party is for this. The people in the center really love this idea for some reason. So that is good. We Again, there's going to be probably some protests, some human rights problems. Another thing I discovered was uh, we have a satellite, guys. I didn't realize it, but we do. It's right here in Antarctica. So we're going to take it, and we're going to bring it up over here to Brazil, vaguely. And because I want to remember that I have that. And also, in the last episode, I looked in here and I said that this might be our man. And I didn't really do anything about it. But uh, I think I'm going to take the risk here. Because these are the only guys that can make any kind of attack on us. They only have 110 followers out of their many sympathizers. A budget of 209000 that's not a lot. So I'm going to proceed with the arrest, and hopefully that will help us. Hopefully he's the guy. Because, again, we don't have to worry too much about these guys right here. I still need to raise this stuff. Um, and finally, we had a protest in that last episode regarding motorists, and they said they were angry about... Where's sports? Angry about the lack of... Interest in motor racing? Well, I went to motorcycle racing and I gave it like a little tick up. Little did I know, by the way, that car racing was a thing as well. We have one, two, three, four, five in it. I assume they like both of these. And I feel like the reason they're angry might be because, number one, the extreme lack of roads in the country. And number two, the fact that I put up a bunch of um, car radar things. People might have liked it in general, but they definitely didn't. So I'm going to... So what's this at again? One, two, three, four, five... I'm going to take this and I'm going to push this up to five. It's not going to cost me very much. Hopefully they're going to like that and like me a bit more. We'll keep track of it. Thinking about doing some more infrastructure this, uh, this day, I guess. Let's... This is us trying to convince the people that we need to strip their rights. Some of the function that I have the honor to serve is to lead the country toward prosperity. But when certain freedoms deter the action of the state or hinder these reforms that we all wish implemented, I must restrict these freedoms. I'm sure you understand why. I completely understand why, Mr. President, and I fully agree. 
Now, another thing I've noticed is, remember last time we noticed our growth has been going down. And we hey, look! To discreetly arrest we got him! Thing. We got him. Let's, uh... No notable effect just yet, but that's gonna take a moment. Um, we need to get more trade deals going, and we're getting to the point in the game, usually where, in all my other playthroughs anyway... Oh, look, we have a plane! <gasps> it's going to Russia! It's a cargo plane. Oh, that's so cool. As the U.S., you always see planes galore going everywhere that belong to you. As Brazil, not so much. Um, okay, growth was going down, and I want to get some trade contracts going. We're usually at the point in the game now where people start coming to me for trade contracts, but growth is steadily going down. It's not changing much, and that's hurting unemployment, as well as a number of other things that I'm doing. Uh, are we also in the process of... Yeah, we're in the process of lowering the national service. We're going to want to get a trade contract with someone right now. Um, doesn't have to be a big one. It just has to be a trade contract. There's a couple things I had in mind over here. I had a lot of things in mind. There's a few here that might be small but still helpful. Uh, grapes, for example, if we look... Sale price of 780 The purchase price goes up. The highest one that's going to buy is Canada for 12.17 Australia is really looking nice in second place they'll take a lot more uh, let's take take a glance actually at let's take a glance over here at Canada if we went to sell them grapes we are producing they're not gonna buy a lot of it from us but they're, they'll buy some and that's what counts and what if we went to Australia uh, they'll buy a bunch. Grapes. Ooh, they'll buy a lot more. That's a much bigger contract. Uh, slightly worse prices. One other thing Canada would buy from us, though. And that... Uh, he's just angry because the World Trade Organization kicked us out. It's fine. We'll get back in again. Um, no, it's not under industry. It's under farming. And that is uh, maize. If maize right here, so corn... Having more food is always in our, like, benefit. We're selling it for 100 Look up at the top here. The Puerto Rico, Bahamas, Canada. The first one that's going to buy any real good amount from us is Canada as well. So if I don't go to them for maize, I definitely want to go to them for, uh, well, sorry, grapes. And I definitely want to go to them for maize. I might as well just meet with them and do both. Because if we, let's take a look at what kind of contract we could come to. I don't have any deals with Canada right now. Um, maze. That's, ooh, that's a big contract. Hmm. Hmm. That has me wondering now. I don't, it's, all right, it's not the biggest contract. I'm slightly overreacting. So and there's a bunch of other things we could do, like gold to Poland. Let's take a look at that. Uh, if we sent gold to Poland, I don't think they're the biggest purchaser of it, but I remember them having the best price. That's not as big of a contract. So we, we, we're sitting on a bunch of options here. I think I'm going to start with a simple... We're going to start small. We're going to get a meeting with Trudeau. Or sorry, Jordan Brodo. Brodo. Nice. And we're going to set up the grapes contract with him. And then we're going to go from there. So let's switch to a higher speed here. Let some time tick by so we can get our contract going. Got a lot of things that are going to be happening all at once here. It's pretty crazy. Uh, and I want to see how this affected us. Oh, oh, speaking of, here is a trade that's coming to us. So we'll put that right after Trudeau. Now, Portugal, I don't think, has the best prices for anything, but they're going to offer us something, and we might as well take it because I know they'll like us more for it. And it's, it saves me the trouble of trying to figure out what other people want. Uh, referendum on prostitution. 51% of people came out to vote for whether or not they wanted prostitution legalized. And, okay. Uh, yeah, I repeated. I don't know what the organization's rules are. I, I don't know why they kicked me out. Is it because I was nationalizing things? I don't know. All right, we have our meeting with Trudeau here. All right, Good morning. so... 
I didn't come empty-handed. In yes. fact, I wanted you to see in order to submit to you this economic contract, which, as you will see, is profitable for both our countries. What's funny is when I play the U.S., Portugal is also the first one to offer me something. They usually offer to sell me something. Let's see. They want to purchase beef. Okay, we make more than enough beef. This contract's not the largest. Your purchase price is huge. That is so much better than ours. I know beef is something most... Everything I think I've sold so far is a commodity where it's a natural resource. Beef is the first one that I'm going to sell that's not a natural resource. Plus two that and send it off. You're coming back really low, so I don't think I'm even going to be able to do their purchase price, unfortunately. We're going to have to aim for something else. But it's still going to be a lot higher than our sale price. And they came to us. I mean, this is a pretty good contract. So let's negotiate that price, 2701. Uh, can we do 2750? Yes, we can. All right. Yeah, they started pretty low. We were not going to get them up there. Uh, but this is still an amazing contract. They're going to get a good deal out of it. And we're going to get a good deal out of it because this is still much better than anything sure. we have. Uh, do you want maybe like a non-aggression pact or something? I don't know. No? All right, never mind. Uh, there's no point in trying, I guess. They got to really, really like you or have some kind of affiliation. I know I want to get... I want to become friendly with all the BRICS guys. So like India and China and South Africa. Because I feel like we could make a pretty good uh, unified force. Uh, let me take a look at uh, South Africa. You are socialist. Ugh. I was looking into making an organization, by the way for an alliance, and I, I figured out something that's going to get in the way for a unified alliance. Um, from what I understand, you can select as many countries as you want, but one of these three things needs to be, like, selected, or no. One of these two things, I think, needs to be selected. Because as of right now, I, you know, I put in a name, put in this ass. Okay, I didn't mean to put that. Pick a city... And I can't create it, but if I turn this on, I can. If I turn this on, I can. I come back here and turn this on? Okay, I see. So it just, it can't be all countries. It needs to be located, it needs to be narrowed down to a regional area, or like the player's continent. Oh wait, no, that's not it. It's because I have this on. Yeah, so it, when you make a... Uh, one of these organizations, it, you need to have a political tendency unifying you or a common religion. I really hate that. I just want to make an organization with my friends. So I'm not going to make this just yet. Because, I mean, I don't know. I mean, Russia would be able to join it because they're conservative rightists. China wouldn't because they're communist. South Africa wouldn't. India would be able to, but, ah, oh, man, that's so annoying. A U.S. would be able to join it, but, uh, I mean, I don't know. That kind of defies the goal of the playthrough. I guess we might avoid making our own organization there. At least avoid making our own political organization at the very least. Let's speed things back up. We got some good economic treaties in here. Growth has gone up a little bit. I don't know if that takes into account the treaty that I just made. Oh, oh, and here we go. The vote was held and the reform was adopted. Okay, so if I remember correctly, that was under work. That was, yes. Us lowering the amount allowance paid to job seekers and raising, no, lowering the average dura the duration of the average working week. We have one more hour to go until I'm happy with it. So we're going to do this one more time. Fix unemployment three. The reform, create reform, and it would go through by itself. And we're going to make this 59. Save some money, add that to the reform. And we have bipartisan support. Nice. The unemployment rate has still been down. It's gone down a little bit more with these contracts, I guess. Inflation still lowering. Debt, wait, GDP per capita is at $9 million? 
Oh, yeah, because that's per capita. What's our GDP? It's at almost two trillion. Damn, that that's that's pretty good, I think. Let's take a look over here. Growth forecast going up. GDP world shares going up. GDP has been going up very well. Ooh, we're almost as much as like Italy. Nowhere near the United States. What is this? Employer Federal Union is upset about something. What just happened? Well, we got back into the World Trade Organization. That's good. Business leaders are I guess. I think they're all in a fucking uproar about the uh, the flipping of industry, yada yada, nationalizing, denationalizing. The same thing that the World Trade Organization is super upset about. Um, let's take a look. What is uh? So this is still whatever we are doing here is still like going through. So whatever it is, we can't quite work on it yet. I think one of the things we're doing, I think we were denationalizing two things and nationalizing advertising. Yeah, that's what we were doing. And it's going to go through as it stands. Got a lot of high risk things happening right now. So just going to kind of leave it as it is. There's one more thing I wanted to increase as well, and that's the amount of researchers. So we're going to raise this up to 150,000. We're going to need some more researchers. I don't think we have a lot. Small percent of our population, not even not even a tenth of a percent, is researchers. Compare that to Japan and the world average, we're really lagging behind, so we're going to want to start getting more. Oh, another meeting already? Okay, we got trade deals coming to us, all right. I definitely don't need to pursue any more myself. Not yet. Love of life. Our people are happy. Yeah, that's. I'm going to ruin that. Been voted on. All right, national service has been peeled back again. Um, and we're probably going to just do that more. I I'm tempted to just abolish it outright. Uh, I think they'd go for that now. These guys don't hate me or anything, so let's abolish this outright. Everyone is all for this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, this is for riots. What is it? Popular riot after police operation in the suburb of Rio de Janeiro. The city is in a quasi-civil war situation. According to our correspondent, who's on location, confrontations began after a police operation to find weapons and drugs had been carried out in a poor neighborhood. The population is not happy about this raid, deemed violent and stigmatizing, and many think that the government totally abandons their neighborhoods. The most what? violent protesters have arrived downtown and are... What am I supposed to do to, to reverse that? Abandoned our neighborhoods? Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ, I hate people. This is why you don't give people democracy. At least it's not the capital. We don't have the biggest police force. It's just people. Uh, I don't know what this is about. I don't know what caused this. Uh... Oh, we have a good a police presence here, actually. This shouldn't be so hard to mop up, at the very least. Uh, I hate these things because they're so time-consuming. I really, really hate these things. They are very annoyingly time-consuming. We're gonna... We got a lot of police here. So who's gonna need the help the most? So we're gonna try this, at the very least. For the most part, for most of these, I might just do them off-camera because of how long they take, but... We're going to do this one and then probably call it for this episode. Uh, send you down there. Send you guys over here. You guys can go over here. We're going to have to... Because cause the AI is so stupidly bad at managing all this. And you just have to micro all of it yourself. We're going to throw a bunch of tear gas in on all these sides. Yeah, I, this is going to take way too long. If you guys want to see me do these, then let me know. But I'm actually just going to skip through these because they're just so time consuming. And I hate them so much. This is my least favorite thing they added to the series ever. And I played the previous games. But yeah, let me know if you want to see me actually do these in the future. But I'm going to skip them. Unless something really exciting happens. Because they're repetitive, they're boring, and they end up being like half the episode. So, we'll skip forward a little bit here. Alright, so the riot is quelled. We're going to take a look at the newspaper here. We're back in the World Trade Organization. Yay. Yeah, trade again with Portugal. He considers it a uh, fruitful and Marxist stage of collaboration. 
Uh, yeah, demonstrations, historic trade deals. The police will support action of the head of state so long. Yeah, because we're giving, we're hiring more, so they're happy about it. Uh, nationalizing stuff. What? Disdain for citizens and their needs? What did I? Teachers and researchers aren't happening, aren't happy, but I, I have, I am hiring more researchers. They should be happy about that. Okay. Demonstration, yeah. Victory against some uh, terrorists or illegal organizations, at least. Yep. Total Jihad Russia conflict. I wonder where that's happening. Prime Minister of Romania took a very elegant, expensive. Oh, okay, great. Uh, nothing relevant to us. So let's go in here to this trade agreement with Italy. Come empty handed. India. In fact, I wanted you to see in order to submit to you this economic contract, which, as you will see, is profitable for both our countries. I love how they make them speak as generically and generally as possible, and just sounds like the perfect politician. So you would like to purchase fowl. Fowl is actually something I was looking into selling. I wasn't looking into selling it to India, but if they want some. And I do actually want better relations with, with India, so let's see. You're still buying it at a great price compared to what we sell it for. This is a big contract. Holy shit. At least, well, in terms of numbers here, in terms of, uh, yeah, I guess India is a good person to sell it to. I mean, in volume. So let's try this. All right, coming in here kind of low. Uh, we're going to try 1700, 1620. We're getting there, man. You're, we're getting there. Let's try 1660. Uh, I want to get it right there. Yes. All right. Great. So I got slightly above their purchase price. Selling them some foul. Awesome. Sure. Uh, let's actually, I really do kind of want a non-aggression pact with India because they're, they're in our little group. Um, oh, they don't like me enough. What if I give you, damn, I don't know. I'll, I'll, call, I'll deal with that another time. I just want to check though, over here. No, that's un under farming, fowl. Cause I was looking into selling it. We make a good amount, fowl. Okay, that's chickens. We sell it for 594. Let's look at the purchasing. Is India even up here? No, some people purchase this for loads more, including the USA. Loads more than what India buys it for. But India is still in the upper echelon of prices. They're, uh, where are they? Here they are, right here, 1657. They're in the upper half, so not the worst thing. All right, so we're continuing the time here. Just got to let time pass while we're doing so much stuff at once. I don't want to do too much at once. I mean, we're not actually doing that much now that I think about it. Um, there was one more, uh, let's see. Uh, there's a couple things that I've been wanting to do. So firstly, uh, let's, let me show you something. I don't fully understand how this works, but come over here to security, cybercrime, origin of criminal cyber attacks in the world percentage. Now I'm not 100% sure how this works. I guess it's, is it a, if it's, I don't know if it's a form of crime or what. What I do know is that we are the fifth largest in it. And that doesn't sound good. And for that and a number of other regions, reasons, I'm going to come here and I'm going to citizen awareness of cybersecurity. For a measly 61 million, I can run a campaign to inform the general public to not be idiots, you know download something to protect their identity. So I'm going to run this Our cybersecurity awareness campaign. Our coordinated with the PR firm to prepare for the campaign. It will start in two weeks. You have taken good initiative. It is indeed appropriate to anticipate and make our citizens ready to face the never-ending threat of cybercrime. Yes, that sounds good to me too. I should look into like some of these eventually. The best ones cost so much money. 91 bill over five years. 30 bill over five years. The bronze one is dirt cheap. I might get this when we start going into war. Which we've had no luck with, by the way. Also, had to, uh, we just still don't know what this did. We've had no luck with that. Uh, we should pour some more fen uh, funding in here. How much is that going to cost me? I've been doing all right on money. Let's let's up that a little bit. 
we do have money sitting around for now. Russia created Pluto. Are you, ooh, Russia's going to Pluto. I was actually wanting to get into space a little bit, I've decided. Uh, so one thing I'd, I'd like to do is even this out. I'm going to do that. So what is Russia doing? Russia, Russia, Russia. Uh, ooh, this will actually go through. They're missing something, but this will actually go through. If we can get in this program, we can get a good relations bonus with whoever else gets in here. And 57% of the funding is up for grabs. So this is pretty cheap. It's only not even a one bill project here. Um, I'm not going to fund all the rest of it. You can go fuck yourself. Uh, oh, oh, God. You're requesting to be remunerated for your participation in the program. I can request that they pay me for being in the program. I guess that's what happens when I, like, I have tech that they need. That's funny as fuck. I've never tried that. All right, um, I'm going to offer money, though. How much are they going to need here? So they're funding 43% of 950 mil. Let's, let's just work off the idea of a bill. So I'm going to offer to fund 200 million. That's 40 million a year. Uh, that should be a good amount. Finance by initiator partners, budget unfunded. Okay, yeah. Oh, so this is what's unfunded. Okay, so I'm going to offer 200 million. And I'm offering to pay for 21% of the project. Hopefully they accept it. They need some sort of tech here to keep this going. I have also decided that I would like to do a Brazilian space program. I was against it at the beginning, but it's good for research from what I know. And it's good for um, making people like you when everything goes according to plan. So we're going to do, we can only do like one thing right now. Yeah, because we're missing some like research and a lot of other things. There's only one thing we actually have like the research, the tech to do right now. Okay, we can do this as well. Oh no, we've already initiated this. We already have this. We can't do any more of this because we're missing a research. So let's do the one thing we can do that we haven't and that's launching a satellite because I don't think we can do any of this stuff. No. Um, yeah, no. The only thing we can do right now is that, I mean, Where's the moon? Can we do anything with the moon? No, we can't do anything. All right, so the only thing we can do right now is a satellite, but we're gonna go ahead and do it. So the budget's only this much. I know this, if you double it, you tend to get better results overall. Let's try 160 mil, that's very cheap. We'll finance half of it, let's say. Get some. Try to get some other people on board to take part. A satellite program, and let's call it Brazil light yeah <laughs> I don't know uh, and let's create the program now people people aren't gonna really care too much about this because it's such a shitty program I'll fund the whole thing if I need to uh, what's this Ex risk of failure this is where raising the funding helps. So this would be if we wanted to send the satellite off in about a year, at the beginning, no. Yeah, the beginning of the next year. This is month, days, years, right? I think so. Yes, okay, good. Uh, what if we, so less than 37% risk for failure. So it's not gonna take that long to prepare for this. Oh, this is nice. This funding level is really nice. Um, let's go for, let's go for this. Just the third month of 2020. This doesn't really lead to anything else. Third month of 2020 with this kind of funding, that's not bad. Uh, there's going to be rounds of bids where people will offer us, like, money to be in the program. If I figured we have a space pad, by the way, so why not do something with it? Uh, we will see who we get in the first round. The first round is the only one that really matters for randoms offering. If we don't get anyone good, then I'll try going to someone like China and India, try to get them on board. Not to even fund it. The money's no big deal. The big deal is that this will boost relations between us. So I'm going to let that run its course. I know I'll get a little notification when that is where it needs to be. 
And yeah. So, okay, I think we have a full episode here, guys. We've accomplished, I'd say, a good amount in this episode. And coming up, we got the resolution of some of these laws. Yep. Uh, where's the, uh... Determine the powers. Oh, yeah, here we go. Three days. We're going to see what Parliament is going to go through, it looks like. Awesome. So much done and so much more to do. So thank you very much for watching, and I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.